お待たせいたしました。県民講座を開始させていただきます。今日は、ご覧いただきます。今日は、ご覧いただきます。Department of Rehabilitation Medicine, Nico Medical School Hospital, Nico Medical School. We have clinical professor, Professor Quinn Lee, and his presentation is titled Forest Medicine in One Health. Health is from the forest. And the chair is、um, Dr. Kazuhiro Imamura, Executive Managing Director of Fukuoka Veterinary Medical Association. Dr. Imamura, please begin. Thank you very much. I am Imamura from Fukuoka Veterinary Medical Association. Professor Johnson talked about、um, stress and the COVID 19 and how animals can help、uh, alleviate that stress. And、uh, in this、uh, third session, we will be hearing about、uh, plants, specifically forests, how they can help improve human health. And today we have the honor of having a Professor Lee with us. Currently, he is、uh, working at the Department of、uh, Rehabilitation Medicine at Nippon Medical School. He's the clinical professor. In 1962, he was born in China and、uh, he obtained his medical license and、uh, degree in environment. And he came to Kagoshima University in the 80s. And then he was、um, in 2001 at Stanford、um, Medical School. He was focused on anti cancer treatments. And in 2004, he returned to Japan and he established the、um, Forest Therapy Research Group. And he was、uh, leading the MHW related project. And in 2007, He started the Forest、um, Medicine Research Group. And in 2018, Shinrin Yoku,、uh, Forest Bathing, was the book that he、um, published globally and it became a global bestseller. Shinrin Yoku is actually a word that is、uh, widely acknowledged in many languages, including English. And、uh, For this year, he received a special award from the、um, Hygiene、uh, Society of Japan. So, this was a very honorable event for him. Forest bathing, Shinrin Yoku, is now firmly established within、um, medicine thanks to your efforts. So, he's the world's authority on forest medicine. And he is、um, educating people on how to take advantage of、uh, this、uh, valuable resource. And I've been very much looking forward to your presentation, Professor Lee. So, this is Forest Medicine in One Health. Health is coming from the forest. That is the title. Please begin. Dr. Imamura, thank you very much for your very kind、uh, introduction. And、uh, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lee from、uh, Japan Nippon Medical School. So, today I would like to talk about、um, forest medicine in one health. Health is from the forest. I started studying the forest in 2004, and I have started several organizations related to this research. Um, for example, the Therapeutic Society and the Forest Medicine Research Group. And today I would like to give you a quick summary of my research from 2004. I would like to begin with this. Last July, during the Olympic season, NBC, who is a sponsor of the Olympic, interviewed me. So, I would like to begin with this、uh, interview. So, please play the video. Timely. We're always searching for new ways to improve our well being,、mm -hmm. slowing down a little with self care, especially after the year we've had. Yeah, and there's a very simple practice from Japan that can help that process along. Here's Natalie Morales.
The practice begins here, outside, moving gently among natural elements and fresh air. Dr. Ching Li, who is an MD and a PhD, was born in China and lives in Tokyo. We met at the Nezu Shrine, where he likes to practice what he writes about in his books, a pastime known as forest bathing. No literal bathing required. At its core, forest bathing is about experiencing nature by engaging your senses. How do you say forest bathing in Japanese? Yeah, forest bathing is singing yoku. There are lots of uh, beneficial effects of forest bathing. For example, forest bathing can reduce your stress. Forest bathing can reduce your blood pressure and heart rate. It's not so much something we need to learn, but something we need to remember. When you think about it, forest bathing is a lot like being a child in nature again. Do you remember what it was like going to the park, breathing the fresh air, and seeing things through a child's eyes? That's what forest bathing is about, right? Huh? The first, you, do, you touch the tree by your two hands. Yeah. You can close your eye. Close my eye. Yeah, just uh, enjoy the sense of the touch. So maybe you can get some energy, mm -hmm. get the power from the tree. Talk with the tree. I got a lot of power from you. Mm. I get lots yeah. of power from you, tree. Yeah, you are my good friend. You are my great friend, tree. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a form so of meditation, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The aim is to use nature to both relax and revitalize you. You also can do the deep breathing, like this. Uh, deep breathing. Hi. You also can do some uh, Exercise like a mm -hmm. Tai Chi, very slow exercise. Yeah, okay. And we're breathing? Yeah. yeah. Dr. Lee says 20 minutes will work, but two hours in nature is best. Yeah. We are on our computers. Yeah. And we are always on a screen. Yeah. It's so it's really about unplugging. Yeah, we call the taking of stress. Okay. Negativity <laughs> out. Yeah, negative, yeah. So you yeah. Bring in the positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, good. <laughs> now, forest bathing is like a type it. of green care. You like that? Yeah, or ecotherapy, and you don't have to be in a forest to try it. Yeah, the practice really can be as simple as getting outside for a stroll, being mindful of your environment. We'll be right back. Hi. えっと、これがNPCテレビのインタビューで、なんかね、アメリカのあの、ま、ゴールデンタイムで。That was an interview by NBC, and this was uh, shown during the golden time, and uh, I hear that this was very well received in the United States, nationwide. Now, Shinrin Yoku actually started in Japan. So in 1982, uh, the monument was uh, established and there was a ceremony. You cannot really see this, but this is the Akazawa Natural um, Regional Forest. And this is a Japanese cedar. This is a wonderful forest. I would like to talk about the result later. First of all, I would like to briefly explain my history with uh, forest bathing. In 82, the forestry agency announced the forest bathing concept and uh, established a birthplace for forest bathing, which is the Akazawa Natural Recreation Forest. And in 1988, I studied at Kagoshima University. And uh, during uh, Golden Week in May, I traveled to Yakushima Island for forest bathing. That was um, my origin of forest bathing. And I started the research in 2004, and uh, I did the world's first forest bathing experiment in Yama Nagano in 2005. And then in 2006, a second experiment was done in Akasawa Natural Regression Forest. In 2007, I started the Forest Medicine Research Group, and uh, forest bathing Shinrin Yoku was uh, defined in this paper. And uh, in 2010, New York Times reported forest bathing research. And in 2011, Nippon Medical School Prize was given as a new type of uh, preventive uh, medicine. And in 2012, uh, forest medicine was uh, published. It was established as a new preventive medicine 
and also broadcast in uh, BBC radio coverage. In 2013, lecture was uh, given at Harvard University in 2018. Shinden Yoku and the first bathing were published simultaneously and the UK and the US and became the seller in the US and BBC covered this. And in 2020, Japanese translation of first bathing was uh, published and uh, about 15 uh, Japanese newspapers covered this. And in 2021, NBC reported uh, forest bathing. And uh, in this March, there's going to be a award, award ceremony. And uh, I received an award for from the Japanese Society of Hygiene for forest medicine research as a new type of preventive medicine, which means that it has evidence the origin of my first bathing is uh, in Kyushu and Kagoshima and Yakushima. In 88, um, during Golden Week in May, I visited Yakushima with uh, my friends and uh, took a picture with uh, Jomon Sida. At that time, we could still do that. And uh, this is the picture of mine when I was young. And this was the origin of my first bathing. We took some uh, commemorative pictures. And my name is Lee, and the character says a uh, child of the tree. So my name is uh, strongly connected to the forest. And uh, I come from Shanxi province and uh, Daido city, which is actually at the bottom of the mountain. There are no many, not many big forests, but we have a popular, lower popular trees. We also have um, apricot flower trees, apricot trees. I always liked nature and the uh, forest as a child. This is another background of a uh, first bathing. Yakushima is the origin, as I said before. And uh, Dr. Imamura has uh, introduced this to you already. Shinrin-yoku with um, alphabet for first bathing. This is a book that I wrote in English, and this was uh, published in the UK, uh, 5th of April in 2018, and then in the United States, and this became the bestseller. And it was a very famous book. Well, I think uh, there is a um, scandalous book on some kind of disclosure at the top of this list. This was the first time that the science-based uh, book have made the bestseller list. And uh, this book is now uh, published in 26 languages and in 37 countries and regions. So Jap English version, Australia, New Zealand, Holland, France, Finland, Portugal, Spain, Italy, and Germany, Poland, Czech, Slovakia, Russia, Sweden, South Korea, and the new version in English and the pocket version in French. And then Vietnamese, uh, Lithuania, Japanese, uh, Chinese simplified, uh, Denmark, uh, Chinese uh, classic and uh, traditional, Romanian, Hungarian, and Italian. And in 2020, November, Japanese version was uh, published and uh, it is um, very well received. And uh, I was going to sell these books uh, at this event, but uh, we could not do that because of COVID-19. Now, Kyoto News editorial board member Ozawa-san is a very good friend of mine. And in order to introduce this book, he wrote an article for me. It's called Hito or People, and this was the uh, Kyushu, Okinawa, Kagoshima, all the different newspapers covered this. Japan, Sea, Hokkaido, Tokyo, and Miyazaki, Kyushu. Three papers in Kyushu covered this as well. And including the three in Kyushu, 15 uh, papers covered this information. Why is Shinryuk so um, popular? Uh, the key word is from feeling to science. 
So forest bathing is no longer just a feeling, it's science. And also it's now available in English. Uh, Shinjin Yoku is now, now an English word and it was registered as a trademark in the United States. Forest bathing works by stimulating the five senses. Stress is an important keyword in understanding forest bathing because the stress causes most lifestyle related diseases and cancer and forest bathing reduces stress and stress related hormones. I'll show you the data later. This is one of the results. Workers Health Survey by Ministry of Health and Labor and Welfare, looking at the status of workers with strong anxiety, worries and stress. This was 82 year of the birth or forest bathing. Approximately 50% of the people had uh, these uh, situations. And uh, at peak 62%, even now it's close to 60%. This is a big problem. And uh, this is a textbook uh, for internal medicine. It says that stress causes most of related uh, diseases and cancer, including uh, depression. So stress causes all sorts of different types of diseases. And uh, people's health care has become a major social issue because of this. Effective preventive measures are required. And uh, Forest bathing is attracting attention as a new method of health promotion and disease prevention. And uh, this is a team of female nurses, my students, and also subjects for this uh, research. Uh, they're enjoying the forest bathing in a beautiful forest in Nagano Prefecture. Stress is a key word. Now, forest bathing reduces uh, stress related hormones. There are three different types for people. Uh, mental stress hormone, adrenaline, physical stress hormone, no adrenaline, and overall stress hormone is cortisol. These are the three types of stress hormones that, uh, well, was affected by first bathing. Let's look at the data. Looking at the mental stress, so left is first bathing, right is uh, just the trouble. And uh, if you just go out, um, it doesn't make any difference. But with first bathing, you can see a decline on the first day and significant decline in the second day. But uh, if you just go on a trip, which is not in the forest, the stress uh, hormone actually uh, goes up again on the second day. And uh, looking at the female nurses, they already have a very high level of stress and it went down to half. And in the se second day, it went down close to 70%, by 70%. So stress level is high and the females are very sensitive, they respond very well to first bathing. What about the physical stress hormones? Well, it also goes down. And it goes down on the first day and it goes down significantly on the second. And looking at the overall stress, cortisol, uh, serum cortisol level has uh, declined due to first bathing. And not just for day one, day two, but it lasts for seven days. So this is the summary. Forest bathing is effective for all kinds of stresses. And uh, it is actually even more effective for mental stresses than uh, physical stress. So effect on mental stress is stronger than effect on physical stress. So forest bathing is an effective stress management technique. Next, let's look at the immune functions. Immune function is very important for the people with weakened immune system and the people with underlying medical conditions are more susceptible to COVID-19 infection. So I would like to talk about the impact of forest bathing on this beautiful forest once again. First, uh, world's well, first for forest bathing experiment. And every time we get tired, we just rest. If we get thirsty, we drink tea. It is a very slow and a relaxing um, way of um, doing something. So we did again next year, and there is no mosquito uh, in the um, Japanese cedar tabres forest. We also found out that uh, forest bathing the rain is also effective. And this is the result. This is before. And then day one, day two. And this is where we come back to Tokyo. Even after two weeks or even after one month, uh, this is a little bit high. 
uh, sorry, there's a decline. So we know that uh, NK activity is uh, increased. So if you do first bathing once a month, um, immune activity is um, sustained at high level. This is very important for preventive medicine. NK cell count is also increasing. Before day one, day two, day three, day seven, and day 30, you can see that the NK cell count is uh, also higher. And the same trend was observed in females as well. So the impact is uh, gender neutral. And this is the um, anti cancer protein uh, before day one, day two, day seven, day 30, and all of the four types of uh, proteins increased uh, in a sustained manner. And this is uh, female nurses again, impact uh, crosses the gender divide. And uh, urban travel has no impact on NK activity at all. So before day one and day two. So if you want to go traveling, uh, select or uh, choose a forest rather than an urban area. And this is the mechanism. So direct uh, impact to increase activity and so indirectly reduces stress. And uh, through these uh, two routes, NK activity is uh, elevated. And moving on to blood pressure, hypertension, this is a big problem as well. 43 million patients, hypertension patients in exist in Japan, this is a big problem. And uh, targeting people who have hypertension but not treated with antihypertensives, we did this uh, experiment. So a walk in the forest, and this is a control group. Blood pressure is changing all the time, and we have to compare the same time in the day, otherwise there's no point. So this was a Saksa area without any trees, and this is the result. And uh, you can see the systolic and diastolic uh, blood pressures and uh, before and after urban and forest. Looking at the diastolic uh, blood pressure, there was no difference in the beginning, but with uh, forest bathing, there was a huge gap, a seven to eight point uh, decline, which sus was sustained until the evening. The effect was pretty much the same for systolic and diastolic. And also, there's no side effect of forest uh, bathing. That's different from dark. And the forest bathing is free. A drug can be expensive. So let's go to forest. Not only blood pressure, but also pulse rates are impacted by forest bathing. We are comparing the uh, forest bathing and the uh, urban tourism and only the environment is different for them. Here is the same because they stay in the room during lunchtime. As you can see, if you have a pulse rate decrease, that will work for the prevention of cardiac disease. So if you use the, this mechanism of prevention, uh, it can have a mechanism of uh, preventing uh, hypertension, one is uh, through the hormones like uh, adrenaline, no adrenaline causes or, or it suppresses the sympathetic nerve and it reduces the stress. Next is about uh, depression, which is another important social issue. In Japan, there are about 4.2 million mental disorder patients and among them 1.2 depression patients. If you enjoyed the forest bathing, uh, these symptoms can be improved and all the decrease of the negative uh, symptoms. And uh, this is the only one showing increase, that is the vigor. Anxiety, depression, anger are decreased, and this is uh, data in 50 subjects. If you repeat the experiment, the same results, the vigor is increased here, and the negative feeling is decreased. This is in the male subject, and this is a female subject. Every time they enter the forest, they respond very well. The negative feelings are decreased. That was the uh, objective uh, evaluation. And uh, this is, uh, uh, that was subjective uh, symptoms. And this is objective uh, evaluation looking at the serotonin uh, levels. And before 
and after the urban tourism or forest trip, the highest is after the forest bathing. Urban uh, trip has a certain effect, but after forest uh, bathing, it shows a significantly a larger increase. This is a very important evidence. Next. Now, we know that the forest is effective, but how about the park in the city? That found to be also effective. This is a Kitanomori park uh, when we have a student practical exercise. We have a one and a half hour walk in a relaxed manner. As you can see, only the vigor shows increase and the neg negative uh, elements show decrease. How about the walking in a shopping district in town? There's no response at all. And vigor decreased and the uh, depression and other negative aspects show increase. We tried a different other parks. Shinjuku Gyoen showed a good impact, and this is an institute for natural study that was also effective, and the Meiji Shrine that worked too. Exactly the same, so I may skip the explanation here. This is before and after, only the bigger should increase. This is a Rikugian, that's a small part, very beautiful Japanese style garden. And the Showa Memorial Park, this is a very large open field park and the Yoyogi Park that worked well too. And I'm a rehabilitation specialist. So I'd like to look at the relaxing effect of forest bathing in rehabilitation care. So I switched from public health department to rehabilitation department. In 1998, I started to work this uh, Sakura Kosin Hospital. Next to this hospital, there was a large uh, garden called Sakura Garden. This is the background of this study. After stroke, the patient in rehabilitation hospital has 33% uh, of developing uh, depression. And after bone fracture, they have a 35% of developing uh, depression, but there are no effective prevention measures. We look at the possible prevention effects uh, of uh, depression uh, with forest bathing in city park in rehabilitation medicine. This is how we can see the park from the window of our office. This is just next to our hospital. This is just a picture of an evidence. This is indeed the data I obtained. So this is uh, actual photographs during the activity because they are the elderly, one hour may be too long. So just a 20 minute walk, uh, letting their five senses, vision, smell, hearing, touch and taste functioning. And uh, this individual has a device and a cane and this person is in on a wheelchair and this person too so we let them to enjoy uh, the walk in the park and here you can see the before and after the only positive increase of a bigger and the negative element show decrease and totally uh, it showed a significant uh, positive impact so at such forest bathing uh, can be utilized for management and the prevention of uh, depression in a hospitalized patient in rehabilitation hospital. We'd like to increase the number of uh, uh, cases to be published soon. And this was uh, presented in the uh, Congress of uh, Academic Meeting in 2019. This is how I did, and this person came to ask a question. And actually, this forest bathing was covered uh, in many media and it was covered in New York Times article in 2010. They cited my four articles in this uh, short article. And after this, uh, I received an offer from a US publishing company. They asked me to write a book about the forest medicine and in 2012, the book was published. 
Pong's medicine is now a new preventive medicine. It was translated into Chinese language in the following year, and four years later, translated into uh, Korean language. So forest medicine is now established as preventive medicine. If I may summarize what I have talked so far, first, Shindin Yoko forest bathing increases the immune function and the preventive effect for cancer, reduces the stress and stress hormone. Although I don't show uh, data, it improves uh, sleep and it prevents depression. It lowers blood pressure and the pulse rate has a preventive effect for hypertension and cardiac disease, can be utilized for rehabilitation medicine, and uh, Shinjin Yoku or forest bathing in a city park uh, can promote good health too, has a preventive effect for lifestyle disease. And uh, although I don't show uh, data today, it has a preventive effect for uh, coronavirus infection. There are two keywords here, stress, and uh, immunity. Forest medicine reduces stress and improves uh, immunity. Most of uh, COVID patients are elderly or those with uh, underlying disease. They have a low level of immunity. They are likely to develop disease and likely to die from the disease. If you have to be isolated because of the disease or if you have a difficulty in your work, they are under mental stress. But forest bathing help you to reduce the mental stress. And the smell uh, element is very important when it comes to forest. The very powerful smell of cypress uh, tree. I'm almost uh, coming to an end of this uh, presentation. Uh, the Japanese media uh, pay attention to my uh, research too, and this is myself in younger days and in nhk news it was broadcasted twice and also yomiuri newspaper nihon keizai newspaper and japan times after japan times coverage new york times came because they can read english and this is a mainichi newspaper and the bloomberg tv from us uh, came to me at the, this exhibition in Odaiba, Tokyo, a New York Times article. And after I published my book, BBC Radio uh, came for an interview. And uh, I'm from Stanford, but the Harvard uh, invited me for a lecture. And this is a German TV coming to my office. And this is a French TV. And the NHK, uh, Japanese Broadcasting, uh, the, on this uh, TV show, I talked about the fighting chat effect and the BBC World News, French Radio, and TBS uh, Health uh, Program. Uh, I appeared and to talk about the uh, immunity increase. And very recently, three years ago, Nihon Keizai Shimbu newspaper and the Italian newspaper. He is my co-researcher and his research was covered by newspaper article in 2020. And this is Italian TV. And uh, he reported, and this is my research office and another interview. And, uh, he looked, they show a um, uh, Nippon Medical School Hospital too, and then this uh, NBC, and they showed uh, three books of mine too, which is a very rare event. And uh, this research was uh, quite awarded, and the uh, best research award, and in 21, I received an award of a Nippon Medical uh, School. The uh, school uh, acknowledged my achievement. And also, this is a website of the university, and they showed this picture for about a year. And two years ago, at the 21st annual meeting of Japanese Society of Hygiene, uh, 
my uh, topic was involved in two symposia. One is utilization of forest medicine and health management after corona. I was a uh, chair there. And also in main symposium, I was involved as a chair, uh, speaker. And as uh, mentioned by Dr. Imamura, I received the award uh, from Japan uh, Academy of Hygiene. And because of the COVID, I was not uh, going to attend the uh, ceremony. So as such, I received these one, two, three awards. So which one will come next? And this is my research uh, team. Uh, the Nippo Medical School, I'd like to thank my uh, co-researchers. So forest health is from the forest, and let us utilize the concept of one health. And with forest bathing, uh, let's work together to develop one health concept in Fukuoka too. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Lin. Well, prior to this forum, I uh, would show the 130 slides. I was worried if uh, the presentation can be within the given time, but uh, the time management was an excellent. Thank you very much. So this is an available opportunity. I'd like to open the floor so that uh, uh, participants uh, and the audience can ask questions please raise your hand if you wish to ask questions um seeing them for the time i would like to ask a few questions to start so various uh, effects of the forest were mentioned in your presentation and in those forests uh, tired people stressed people or um, uh, people with mild depression, how can we bring those people actually to forests? What's the method or ways that you can share with us in that regard? And for example, so in the forest regarding a therapy, some possibly what kind of programs you implemented? Please share with us. Well, first, uh, let the people know about the effectiveness of forest therapy. If they know how effective uh, uh, it is, uh, people will come to forest. Publicity is not sufficient yet. Well, if there were no pandemic, uh, uh, people uh, from across the world would go to the forest and to the original place of the for forest uh, medicine and in Japan and then the because I introduced uh, uh, many of Japanese cultural elements and the uh, impact of uh, forest uh, medicine. So let people know the effect of the forest medicine, forest therapy, and uh, let the people enjoy them in the forest. Uh, in contact with uh, trees and forests, contact with the nature, that's very important. People these days are too away from the nature, so they uh, should go back to nature once again so that we regain uh, the original lifestyle of a human being so go into the forest is the first step thank you very much so publicity is in uh, communication is important and uh, go into the forest in the first place you also uh, talked about the cypress in one of some of your slides in kyushu uh, including in Fukuoka prefecture there are many uh, cypress trees Regarding the effectiveness of uh, Cypress, and can you uh, a little bit more elaborate on it? Yes, first of all, well, the, uh, the, uh, the, that forest I talked about uh, is also uh, Cypress, and Akasawa, a natural uh, forest, is really a purely Cypress and, uh, forest, and the uh, uh, smell is excellent and uh, with the piton shed. And then I uh, had an... Uh, data from forest bathing and uh, of an uh, effectiveness and uh, continuing for uh, about one month uh, after uh, two uh, days and three nights spent uh, with the forest bathing. So that's really the power of Cypress. And regarding uh, the, I, I also connected you to other the researches about uh, the Cypress effect, particularly the smell and the essential oil of Cypress, I diluted that 
and then I uh, cultured it for one week and then with the NK cells and then uh, we were able to prove that the activity level of the NK cells increased. That's an uh, in vitro uh, experimentation. Another one that I conducted is an in vivo uh, experiment. Uh, we uh, let the people subject stayed for one week in a hotel with a uh, full smell of an, uh, cypress. And then uh, we uh, measured after one week the stress level and then cells. And uh, three nights later, immunity uh, was boosted and the stress hormone decreased. So we were able to obtain about half of the effectiveness of the real forest therapy, forest basings. So that's the power of Cyprus and its smell. Thank you very much. So the Akazawa Forest Park that you mentioned is there. And in Yamesh city or Sasaguni town of uh, Fukuoka prefecture, there are so-called uh, forest therapy bases. So the development is ongoing. From you, your viewpoint, Dr. Lee, when it comes to forests to create health, what are the perception images that you have in mind, including uh, the future image? Well, as the American uh, speakers talked earlier today, the health effect is important. So we can, it is very important to receive a power from the forest and from the animals, so the first of all, and we need to protect and conserve forests because from a healthy forest, we can receive an health and power. So we need to conserve forests and protect forests, first of all, so that uh, uh, the blessings from forests can be enjoyed by us. So interaction, we should not be just one way to uh, receive from forests. Well, it can go well at the beginning, but then if we don't conserve and protect the forest, the effect will be gone. So the human beings need to protect the forest and then receive health and powers from forests. So through this type of interaction, of course, animals are also part of that. That's really, truly the concept of one health, healthy forest and from healthy forest, healthy human beings and healthy animals can be born. Thank you very much. Dr. Rebecca Johnson earlier today talked about that from protecting uh, and cherishing uh, animals, uh, human beings can enjoy, and it was not the one way, it's a uh, bilateral two way interaction. And then, uh, Dr. Lee, you said that it is not one way either, it's a two way. I think that's uh, one of the perspectives of, of One Health. So, in the Shoshin of Mori Forest, Fukuoka Prefecture will be uh, preparing a place for forest bathing too. One health activity by Fukuoka Prefecture, um, how do you assess this? Well, last November I went there, today is the second time, and uh, Dr. Iwamura told me so many things about that. And I truly feel the power of the people behind this. First of all, Mr. Hattori, the governor, and the government is uh, really actively promoting this. Another thing I can say is that uh, the prefectural assembly is also providing very strong support and the prefectural JMA and uh, VMA are also supporting and the prefectural people are participating as well. So these five groups are truly working together to promote uh, one health of Fukuoka prefecture. I'm really impressed by this. I can feel the passion of everyone involved. So through forest bathing, I'm really hoping to contribute to one health activities in Fukuoka Prefecture too. Let's work together. Thank you. Last but not least, two, one in two a person have cancer and we are all um, suffering from COVID-19. Everybody's under stress. And in terms of forest bathing and forest medicine, um, what is the message that you want to deliver to these people who are undergoing this right now? Two things. I want to speak about COVID-19 first. As I said before, in the case of COVID-19, elderly people with a weak immunity tend to suffer more and they more, more of them die. 
and also if you have underlying disease with a weak immunity immune system again the same thing so immunity level is low but the first bathing can help improve uh, immunity that's one thing the other thing i want to say is that uh, we isolate people but because of COVID-19, you cannot go to the office, you have to work from home, you have to isolate yourself. And there's a lot of uh, mental stress that is being caused. In 2020 or 2021, uh, we saw the first time for, in a long time, an increase in the number of suicides, especially among young women. And uh, this is due to the mental stress caused by COVID-19 pandemic. We are seeing a higher a frequency of mental illnesses. But uh, first bathing can help reduce mental stress. So from the stress and the immunity perspective, I would say that the first bathing actually uh, can be expected to uh, prevent COVID-19 infection. So let's go to the forest and let's um, do first bathing in order to beat COVID-19. That's one message. Another thing is, People are living up to the age of not just 80, but maybe 100 these days. About 50% uh, of the population would actually um, have cancer by the age of 100, one in two. And uh, cancer tends to occur more frequently in the elderly because of low immunity. Other than leukemia, young people don't usually develop cancer. I'm not being discriminatory, this is just a physiological phenomenon, but again, forest uh, bathing can help in terms of preventing cancer. Lifestyle disease is the same. Stress is a cause of most uh, lifestyle diseases, hypertension, stomach ulcer, sleep disturbance, diet-related disorders. I don't remember the word right now. Oh, loss of appetite is also related. So various diseases and symptoms are induced by stress directly or indirectly. So this uh, stress management is very important. And uh, forest bathing can reduce the stress. According to my research, both mental and physical stress can be reduced. And also the overall stress uh, hormone cortisol also goes down. So by benefiting from uh, forest bathing, we can counter COVID-19 and also cancer, and they can also contribute to one health. Thank you. So this is one potential solution against COVID-19, and you have shared with us a very rich data and your rich experience. You have also mentioned a very encouraging the message actually for the COVID-19, for the One Health promotion in uh, this prefecture. Thank you very much. Please give him a round of big applause. That concludes this session. Thank you for your attention.